Shalom Aleichem, continuing in the book of creation, the introduction of the Rived, the 13th path. So the 13th path is called the mind that leads unity. The Nativ Yud Gimel Nikra Sechel Manhig Ha'achdut. Okay. And it's called so because it is the essence of the honor and it is the way of payment for the true, united, individual, spiritual ones. Okay? It's very joyful to learn that uh, wonderful text. It's very interesting to see how much um, in high quality uh, knowledge is treasured in simple words. So again, Let's read it again. The 13th path is called a mind, certain mind, that leads unity. Okay, so we have a certain kind of wisdom that leads unity. means that it provides unity to all the aspects of the world. And it's called so because it is the essence of the honor. What does it mean? It's the essence of the honor. The purpose of the honor. What honor is here for? Now, Rabbi Yochanan kara lemane mechabduta. Rabbi Yochanan called coverings, means clothings, an honor. How are you going to define, how are you going to recognize the king out of the public? Because of his royal garments. If you're going to see the king dressed in jeans, you will never be able to recognize his kingship. Because the body itself is similar for the king and for his servants. But the clothings are showing the difference between him to the rest of the world. The crown, the cloaks of honor, so the cape and every single thing, every unit of clothings that he will hold and wear will represent his greatness above others. <coughs> so honor, Rabbi Yochanan kara lemane mechabduta. Rabbi Yochanan called the coverings, the clothings, honor. So the honor is the coverings. And on Hashem it's written, kvodo maleolam. His honor is filling the world. Means that all the world is coverings, filters that are reflectors of Hashem's greatness. Hashem is spiritual and divine. And on Him it's written, a person cannot see me and stay alive. Therefore, Hashem must cover himself in many, many coverings, endless amount of coverings, for his light to shine to us, for us to be able to recognize it. So actually the honor is those coverings that are allowing us to see him, because without those filters, we wouldn't have any ability to see him we would be just blinded by his great light therefore the essence of the honor is actually to provide a certain access to his greatness for us to have a certain way to enjoy his light through those filters because without them we wouldn't be able to enjoy his greatness so the purpose and essence of the honor is actually the fact that Hashem will be seen. It's an act of kindness to cover Himself for us to be able to enjoy His wisdom. And it is the payment of the true spiritual united ones, the united spiritual ones. So it's the payment, means the reward, means the good positive outcome of the effort of all the united spiritual ones. So all united spiritual ones means all the spiritual methods and ideas and ways in the world, around the world, even of different nations, doesn't have to be pure Judaism or whatever. When it comes out of the mind and heart of an honest person, he will be rewarded for it. If a person was born in a different state with different culture and he was an honest person, and was searching for spiritual journey and found some truth, he shall be rewarded for that, even if he was not part of Judaism or Torah of the people of Israel. Because his honesty was aiming for the truth, and therefore there's going to be a reward for his effort. So that wisdom 
of how to lead unity means to aim everyone to reach the one truth that there is through the filters that are allowing everyone to access the wisdom and to enjoy it is rewarding the ones who chose the path of spiritual truth okay that's the 13th path the 14th path is called sechel meir illuminating mind and it's called so because it is etzem hachashmal the essence of chashmal chashmal is in modern hebrew we call chashmal electricity the crazy fast and hot energy that runs in our plugs um, but the true intention of the word chashmal was used by the prophet Yechezkel to express a certain layer of energy that is surrounding every cell in the universe and it's a covering it's a certain kind of spiritual outfit that protects and maintain life inside that particle of creation any kind of material any kind of cell is surrounded with that covering that is energetic that is called chashmal and it is vehamore teaching al razei yesodot hakodesh utchunatam on the secrets of the foundations of holiness and their qualities so the 14 path is called an illuminating mind and it's called so because it is the covering the energetic covering that is teaching us on the secrets of the foundations of holiness and their qualities so you cannot reach the inside without going through that energetic field like that you cannot penetrate into any zone without receiving certain kind of permission and sometimes we cannot see that but the heaven's court is allowing a person to eat and to drink and to touch and to sit and to walk on surface based on heavenly judgments based on um, meetings and discussions and conversations about any step that any person or creation will take on earth any word that will be said everything is going through a whole system of calculations and thoughts that in conclusion brings the person to receive the authority to do so or being denied a person can think to himself oh man i'm going to eat an apple and in the end he won't be able to take a bite of that apple all that day he won't and he will try and he will think and he will attend to and he won't be able to because if from heaven they will not allow the person to access that apple to grab that apple to bite that apple to even say a bracha and blessing on that apple he will never have the permission and the ability to access to the zone of that apple because everything is under the kingship of shamayim of heaven so the illuminating mind the 14th path is called so because it is that essence of electricity of chashmal that is the covering the energetic covering that is surrounding any cell in creation and it's teaching us about the secrets of the foundations of holiness and their qualities means that we are here to follow the plan of hashem we are here to do what hashem the creator the maker of the universe is guiding us to do for us to follow his wisdom and to fulfill the obligations and to serve him and to commit ourselves to keep and do his will as much as we're able to to aim to the heights so therefore with an apple you have a certain purpose with a book you have a certain purpose and all those things must be approved by heaven's court so if you want to get into a certain wisdom if you want to eat a certain fruit if you want to wear a certain shirt in heavens they will ask and they will check and they will put it on the scale on the judgments tables court and they will check all the information and all the motives and all the reasons and all the purposes and all the possible outcomes of your act and they will decide if to allow you to access through that gate of that surrounding chashmal energetic field that is closing one zone from the other 
and if you'll get the permission to access to the sparks to the treasures that are treasured inside that cell inside that fruit inside that book you'll have the access to enjoy the wisdom that is planted in it and therefore by that mind light shining we can be taught on the secrets of the foundations of holiness and their qualities we can access into any one of Hashem's creations and to enjoy the purpose of their creation to release and uplift the sparks that are treasured within them and doing that through getting into that electronic force that is surrounding them as a fence and that will be our access and permission to stand on the secrets of the foundations of holiness and their qualities it means to take out the wisdom that is treasured in that thing in the book in the fruit and to uplift it and to rise it back to its source the 15 path Hanativ Tetvav Nikra Sechel Ma'amid is called an establishing mind and it's called so because it is establishing the essence of creation in pure fog Arpilei Tohar pure fog is a certain kind of holy cloud that is surrounding holiness it's not like um, fog that blocks the way of ours to see the path it is a holy cloud that is surrounding holiness blocking people that are not worthy to come close to holiness and purity but with good intention of allowing holiness to stay in its mode of holiness modesty and purity and not to be damaged by ones that are not appropriate and not worthy to enjoy its holiness so the path the 15 path is called establishing mind and it's called so because it's establishing the essence of creation in pure fog and the wise investigators the ones that are learning secrets in depth said that that is the fog that is the fog and that is the meaning of the verse va'arafel khatulato the word arafel means fog is a word that is used few times in the torah one of them is that moshe nikhnas el ha'arafel kishama elohim moshe entered into the fog because god is over there so moshe was brave and strong enough to get into that place that was unknown that was unseen that was hidden from his mind and eyes because he believed that Hashem is inside so he dared getting through that pure fog that we are describing now to get into the core to the essence of purity that is treasured and hidden within that surrounding fog means that that fog is surrounding Hashem and like that we know that there is no place in the world that is empty from Hashem's existence like that it's written late atar panui mine there is no place and space in the world that is empty of his godliness God forbid so that pure holy fog is surrounding every cell in creation that when you try to reach the holy part of it means the source of life the spark that is treasured within that thing you have to do that through crossing into that fog it means that you're going to have a certain fraction of a moment or a minute or a certain amount of time that in that time you will have to be unaware unable to see unable to sense you're going to have to go into that place of holy fog to enter to it counting on the fact that Hashem is inside but entering into that twilight zone into that zone of the unknown and if you do so as Moshe you'll find Hashem like Moshe did on Mount Sinai thank you so much may Hashem bless us all together as one to rise and shine